I'm having deja vu. This house seems so familiar. Greetings. I am. I saw. Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Hall. But uh, by the sounds of it, you haven't. It would be another. Oh, thank you. Feel free to look around. door was kicked in. <sighs> Clumsy of a thief to cut himself on the glass he just broke. <laughs> the thief left the bow. I suppose he prefers pizzicato. The scrap of fabric is covered in white stains. An utterly useless theft deterrent for a glass display case. Jagged bottle reeks of cheap whiskey. Nothing was taken except for the violin. How odd. These are intricate pieces of music. Quite beautiful, if my sight reading holds true. I see you've received many accolades. Ah, those are from a long time ago. I used to perform a lot in my youth. This cover is dusty. It hasn't been taken off for a long time. Anything else you'd like to know? Does anyone else live here? No. My dear Emily died... You weren't here when the burglary happened, correct? I was tending to my wife's grave at the cemetery.
Bakın kim buradaymış. The trail stops here along the way. Hello, sir. Would... I'm not hungry, but I'm looking for a violin that was stolen. Any chance you... Uh, oh, yes, I did. They ate lots of fruit. Hmm, a lieutenant. No, sorry, sir. I was helping out. They promised to return him, but they didn't come back. Do you know Anthony Jones, the musician? Of course. Mr. Jones is very kind. He never barters. I'm yet to crack his smiles. Well, the first time they came by, the sailors mentioned something about music, so... Wait. You couldn't have known they would steal from the old man. Fortunately, you... I'll find them and your donkey soon enough. Someone must have seen where they took it. It's a donkey, for heaven's sake. The donkey was being stubborn, but so were they. There we are. The first lead in our asinine chase. This must be Lieutenant Sean. The sailors couldn't get him inside the tavern. Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our way back. Good grief, those drunks are wreaking havoc in there. Can I ask you a question? I've never heard of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, they left me no choice. I think I might be nearing intoxication myself just from the smell of them. The maker's stamp suggests it was made by a student of Pressender. Quite a lovely instrument. And somehow, after all the mayhem, it's still in one piece.
Merhaba. Ne haber? I found your donkey. It's not far from here, outside the Wet Whiskers Tavern. You'd better go after it before someone decides to borrow it again. Thank you, sir. I'll be quick as a flash. Hey, Yusuf, please look after my cart, okay? Well done. I look forward to the beautiful reunion. These are intricate pieces of music. Quite beautiful if my side reading holds true. Here's your violin, Mr. Jones. It might have gained a few... God bless you. The scratches don't matter. They are like scars, each telling a story. It is the... It would be my pleasure. This melody, Sherlock. Don't you recognize it? Hmm. Hmm. Look up, Sherry. There used to be an attic up there. We used to sneak in from the roof and listen to Mr. Jones play when we were children. You should tell the old man the truth. I think it will mean a lot to him. Bravo. I... that, uh, melody, it brought back some memories. As a child, I used to sneak into the attic above this very room. Oh, <gasps> so that was you. After my wife's death, it was difficult to pick up the violin again. But knowing someone was listening, in fact, a young man like yourself? I... I can't accept that. Ah, uh, it's never too late to learn, Mr. Holmes. Sherry, I'm really glad we helped him.
he'd kill the boy. I've never seen Giorgio so angry. I hope the kid... He'd kill the boy. I thought he'd kill the boy. Kill the boy. A deck of tarot cards, very popular among street performers. Let's hope no one's been hit by this smooth mineral. Someone has over-egged the pudding with these spangles. The name of the original performer has been replaced with... Dilwyn. You know what? Put on the magic cap. I have a feeling it will help. It's not actually magic, John. Well, not to you, perhaps, but to a boy, any magician's hat is special. Thank you. 
should have known better than to jostle a police officer. It's all right, boy. You can come out. I didn't do... Hey. I know it is. I followed you from your ma... I'm fine. Hmm. Huh. Is that so? You wear your bruises like a badge of honor, a souvenir of your street antics. Your clothes are ragged, yes, you're no urchin. Wow, I... Clearly. So, tell me, why did you call that man... Because he is. He told me he's a lord. But no lord has calluses on his hands and sour cabbage. He came after me. He caught me with a fist. What did you expect? You imb... You must be careful how you deploy the truth, Dilwyn. It's a potent weapon, as easily turned against... Yeah, well, the truth is what people pay me for. I simply notice things others don't. But I think you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I can... It's called deductive... I never knew there were... Your abilities come with consequences, Dilwyn. But I don't want to blend it. Then they will lock you up. The truth hurts, and the bigger the truth. All right. Yes, nothing like a swift uppercut to really... Perhaps when faced with the monotony of this world, you... Why don't you go to the police and show them your skills? They won't take me seriously. I'm sure you'll be able to... All right. Before you go, impress me. You're overconfident. You act like you desperately hope to find somewhere you belong. But you never will. And the truth is, you're terrified. You're too smart and too empty inside. You know how dangerous that is. And you know exactly what... I... uh... well, uh... Oh, really? Well, what does John think? Sherlock, did he just... Um... How? I... I, I don't know.
refresh your interior. Pick what you like. My goods will brighten up your house. You will Murderer on the loose! A reward offered for any info information as to miss the best antiques in the district. My goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase. Would you like to report a crime?
Don't miss out on my unique clothes. Let's pick something that suits you. A good choice. A good choice indeed.
Merhaba. Selam. Nasılsın? Boniface, sweet. How are you, Mum? I'm ashamed to admit that. For heaven's sake! How many. Please accept my thanks. I will pay you, I promise. But... You'd better do. The blood has dried. I've heard of this style of painting. It is called Expressionism. <sighs> Judging by post-mortem rigidity, the body lay here for one or two days. The wound is precise. It was inflicted by a razor or a knife. A normal kitchen knife. Could be the murder weapon. The wound is precise. It was inflicted by a razor or a knife. Soaked in blood. It seems as if the puddle of blood was here before the rags. The chest has been searched. Aunt May Whiskey, Brandy Bucks. Quite a collection he had here. I wonder where he got that fancy camera. Despite the overall tendency towards mess, you cannot sit with the drawer pulled out like this. Someone left it after searching.
It appears the wine was truly awful. It appears the wine was truly awful. Despite the overall tendency towards mess, you cannot sit with the drawer pulled out like this. Someone left it after searching. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. Look at this, John. Isn't it our stolen demon? You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Mercurio was developing photographs when the intruder snuck in. Mercurio heard him coming. While the thief was searching the chest, the painter ran towards him with a bottle in his hand. He smashed it across the thief's head. The intruder had no choice but to defend himself, and the weapon of opportunity happened to be a kitchen knife. Mercurio stepped aside to grab the painting, but the wine-blinded thief attacked Mercurio's throat. 
When the thief came to his senses, he saw Mercurio bleeding on the floor. He grabbed the rags and tried to bandage him, but it was too late. Why did Mercurio attempt to snatch the painting in the middle of a fight? To strike the intruder? Not with his painting, it was too important to him. It's time for some chemical magic, John. Uh, that doesn't look like the painting we need, Sherry. As expected, but that doesn't mean it won't tell us anything. I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John? If the intruder didn't take it, the skull should be somewhere here. Monster was actually. Uh, what were you saying, Sherry? I was too busy sketching the scene, you know, crimes and such like, daily routine. A photograph. It depicts a man in a red suit with tails sprouting from. But the act of love. It wasn't given willingly, John. Give that to me now. No. Although the victim is not from Cordona, she is African. Look at the ritual scars on her. Get that image out of your brain. I must speak to the landlady. Sherry, you cannot tell her the truth. John, that's illogical. Sooner or later, sh just avoid mentioning. I'll take that into account. And wait here. I've redrawn the people in the photograph. Now you can proceed with your investigation without those... What's wrong? Can you tell me if anyone else has recently entered the flat? Oh, you're talk- Maybe he would motivate you to find my- Can you describe him? Oh, so you weren't at home. And he was smoking Malpal cigarette. Can I ask a favor? Uh, Please call the police and ask them to enter the flat and- What? What? It really doesn't matter. Oh, Sherry, that was close. But you did everything correctly. Now, take off your outfit. I can't let you walk around in a dead man's clothes.
beasts! Excuse me, just one question. The lady doesn't know about such things. Help me, please. I don't think I know. My name is Sherlock Holmes, a private investigator. Really? And you are? So I have full authority here to ask you to leave. People in the crowd are shouting, it's near assumption. If it was under control, you would be sitting in your cozy dark corner in your sitting hall room doing nothing. These insults are inappropriate. You don't know what I'm doing to this camp. Maybe I didn't want to be assigned to them. I apologize, Mr. Harnell. Perhaps I was prejudiced towards it, but in any case, I'm sure that you will. The current reality is that neither you nor the police are managing things well. What are you driving at, Mr. Holmes? I can help you to handle the situation if you're truly in And how exactly would you... Simply tell the police that I'm a city hall and I'm home. But in return, I need your help finding my words. Look, there is indeed a dead body inside the camp. So even if the girl you are looking for, they won't allow you to speak with her. And I can't do anything about that. So it's not enough, will it? Oh. I suppose that things are bad enough that I ought not shy away from help her. All right, Mr. Holmes. Just tell me when you're in. Mr. Harlow, how do you remember? So you're not from around here, you see? I've been away for some time. Yes, this whole story has been in the paper for almost a year now. There was a smuggler to call it. Smuggler? Then why didn't you? The smugglers managed to sneak them to shore and hide them inside an abandoned. When the police raided the warehouse and found the refugees there, the ship was already gone. We have busy shipping routes with other colonies these days. So you decided to lock them up under a bridge? I only hope we'll find a humane way. Mr. Harlow, what exactly do you do? What I do, and what I am responsible for, are two different realities. Me, on paper, I am in charge of the camp territory, which security. What I actually do most of the time is not on every city wall. The police here on city. They are. Minus those who came here after the body was found. Naturally, they answer directly to the police. I have some influence here, but I'm not their direct authority. I'm ready to... All right. Go inside the camp. Tell him I sent you. I'll find my way with... So they keep these refugees under a bridge like the proverbial trolls. No wonder the people outside are so disturbed. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Mr. Ronald Hart. A surveyor. What does that even mean? In short, I've been sent to... Got it. Another paper worm sent to count my... Go on. Did you first tell... What happened? People from the bridge above the camp heard a woman screaming and saw a massive... T when the camp guards came by, the man was... I'm sure. Thank you, Inspector. Did you learn anything? The fellow looks like a thug. Ever since these refugees arrived, I have it. 
My best bet, bet is that they had no clue. He had some items on his body, but nothing to win. I think I should cancel up. Go on. And none of the refugees. One fellow was cut. He's lying over there near there. You mentioned a woman screaming who attracted the bipod. No, oh, she's all right. Perhaps the whole debacle started because of her. She started wailing in the refugee. And where is this young woman? Back there in the shacks. Same as the rest of the refugees. She's been questioned by my men, but she's just... Do you have any suspects here? You're joking, right? I've got a whole camp full of suspects. And if you ask me, this bloke had it coming. And now there's a crowd gathered at the camp. And my superiors say we must thoroughly interrogate the refugee. Do you believe that your superiors wish to get rid of him? I think that both our superiors would rather keep the story quiet. Since that's an unaffordable luxury now, they're looking how to... That's why I have to waste my time waiting for my people to turn up every... Here we go again. Number of hours on Cordona before stumbling upon another dead body. Zero. A furrow in the ground. A blood trail leading to or from the ground. Clearly a left hand print here. 